Welcome to the swamp! Yes, we're starting a new series of RimWorld, and this is Alpha 16, where they've introduced caravans and spherical planets and stuff. I already done one video on this, but that was a standalone, so we're starting afresh with I'm Great, Amazon, Brewface, Punchy Poo, and Wide Awake. Their names always suspiciously ironic, <laughs> or close to what they actually are good at. Alright, okay, so let's have a very quick tour of the planet. It's fairly hilly. And very swampy. Uh. And there's plenty of stuff to mine out as a result of all the hills. So we landed in the swamp, but we probably don't really want to be building actually in the swamp, do we? Uh, the things seem fairly fertile, just need to avoid things like uh, gravel and stuff like that. Look, they've all gathered on this little peninsula. <laughs> right, so I think we start, if we if we use... Oh, hello, let's actually... If we build in here... Ah, that provides us with plenty of inbuilt wall. Okay, lads, and we'll do it over here. We'll mine into the side of the thing so we don't have to get too much wood. Although we will need some wood. Uh, everything will be groovy. And um, for now, let's... Hang on, let's make it so that they... Well, there's no point in unforbidding it until I've actually made ourselves a, a stockpile. We're going to build primarily in there. Let's make the stockpile... Actually, if we make the stockpile in here... Because we will need it inside. And we also need a dumping zone, which we can... We, we'll have to hide this somewhere, so it doesn't become an eyesore. Well, let's put it... For now, let's kind of keep it there. It's not very um, it's not very out of sight, but it'll do. Right, now we can start unforbidding everything. What's this? Pemmican. And this is the vanilla um, starting condition. I think it's the scenario... Um, just the Lost Tribe, or the Last Tribe, whatever it's called. Um, let's have a look at the scenario. Uh, yeah, the Lost Tribe. This is the completely vanilla. I haven't, like, um, customised it in any way. Uh, we will get onto caravans at some point, but it might not be, it'll definitely not be this episode. I tried it in that standalone video, and I just, like, doomed us all, I think. <laughs> right. Uh, is that everything? I think it is. Uh, right. Okay, so they're all starting to haul everything. We'll need to start ordering them to chop things. In fact, let's do a job lot. Uh, chop wood. We'll grab all that. Uh, and then we can start building our actual colony, I guess. And that's going to be needing to divide, be divided up. If we make that like that, put a door in there. We'll also probably need... Hang on, which, what did I have selected then? Is that a door or a wall? I think it's a door, isn't it? Let's um, do that. So this is going to be our stocky area. We will need to mine out a bit, I think. So let's just mine out. Let's mine out like that, just to make it a nice square sort of thing. That too. There's a bow there. Now, I need to start arming people, don't I? Um, but this is um, not the scenario I normally play, which is usually the vanilla, the very vanilla one, the, the three space crash people. So this is a tribe, so they won't be nearly as researchy. So we'll have to get onto research quite quickly, I think. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is make these into bedrooms, I think. Later, that same day. It's the 11th of spring already. Oh, I didn't realise that. I must have started at a funny time. Um, yep, so I'm starting... Oh, there we go. There's lit up the bedroom number one. Bedroom number two and three are on their way. Um, we actually do have five people, though. Brewface has just wigged out over there completely. Could do something. Ugh. And well, the hunters do need some weapons. So, Amazon, you grab a sphere. No, let's, you, you can have the bow, um, which we'll reuse for some hunting at some point. Right, who else? Who else is good at shooting? Right, so you, you're not. You are. You're not really. You're not really. Ah, wide awake. Right, where's Wide Awake? There's Wide Awake right there. You can get the bow as well. Uh, anyone who's who's melee? A uh, punchy poo is melee, uh, but she's a kip. So we'll wait till the morning to give before we give her a knife. Um, it's mainly fem. I think we've got mainly got female tribe um, in this one. Let's have a check um, because at some point we will need relationships. And uh, Wide Awake is the only bloke. So he's going to be in demand. <laughs> it's going to be worn to a stump by the end of the night. Ugh. Well, I've designated a couple of sleeping spots so they don't sleep out in the wilderness. But for now, by the looks of it, 
everyone's a kip, so I just need to start thinking about how to expand things in the morning. People are starting to wake up. Um, I've decided to make um, an extra person a miner, so we've now got two people doing the mining out bits. And it's going to take for ages to do that, so I've restricted this um, stockpile a bit, so it's only a bit, it's a bit smaller now. I'm going to start putting a few production-y things here. Um, some of this might be moved around as we go, but I think for now it would be a good idea to actually get our food on. So we've got ourselves a, what is that, it's a butcher's table. Now we need a cooking table, I guess. What have we got? We've got a fueled stove. I haven't really got much in the way of technology at the moment. A fueled stove will have to work. Okay, this is technically outdoors because I'm, I'm still having trouble actually putting a bloody wall here. It keeps on <laughs> making doors happen. I think probably my own incompetence, but shush. I actually have to do a bit of harvesting. Got loads to do. Uh, nobody's really up. <laughs> I said people were getting up and it turns out only one person was. Uh, I'm great over there! I'm great! Stop cloud watching! So much work to do. Compacted machinery and stuff like that to get... Ugh. Uh, actually, I should mention, actually I haven't mentioned this so far, is the storyteller for this game... I think it's in Review Scenario. Oh no, it doesn't say that, does it? The storyteller is in fact Randy Random, um, rather than the, the, Cass the basic Cassandra one. So, events are going to be very mixed up. But it is a, still a fairly easy mode though, just so we don't um, um, finish before we even start. Uh, okay, so now the well, the dogs are the dogs are the dogs are in the bedroom. <laughs> God damn it! In fact, what I think about it, I could probably start doing with putting some flooring in, um, because the kitchen needs to be kept clean. Um, otherwise, people get food poisoning. In fact, I'm starting to think that maybe. Yeah, no, it'd be it'd be good enough for now. Shouldn't have done that. It'd be good enough for now, but we will have to m make a separate kitchen at some point. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of mining to be done. At some point I'm thinking of maybe, rather than try to mine out the entire thing, maybe it might be a good idea for time reasons to actually start building out in the normal method using wood. Who's idle? Brewface! What do you do? You're a grower. Oh, of course, we need to actually start growing plants, don't we? Um, so let's zone some growing zones. And we'll probably just do it right here, so this should be fine. That's a bit new oh dear. Can't do anything there. Uh, right, so another one here. Once everything's cut down, everything will be good. And you as well. Right, my, my uh, potatoes. Uh, yeah, potatoes will do. Rice always with the rice because rice is fast growing and stores for ages. Corn's a bit pissed. Let's try strawberries if anyone's good enough to do that. Apparently Brewface is very good at planting. Oh, uh, where's that? Growing. Thir oh, 13! Oh, that means, oh, that means you will be able to grow some medicine as well. So let's do that. Let's put that out near the swamp. There we go. I have to cut down a lot of stuff. Um, where is it? Heal root. There we go. Skill required 18. That's plenty. A research bench will be incredibly useful at some point. Um, not much room at the moment. Punchy Poo is taking her sweet time doing the old mining stuff. Let's speed things up a little. Yeah, everyone's busy planting and cutting at the moment. Who's the other miner? I said Punchy Poo. Oh, I'm great. Although I'm great is more concerned at the moment with growing, uh, which is fair enough, because we do need to get that sorted as soon as poss. What's that? A limestone chunk. That can haul. I can get hauled. Where's Hall Art when you need him? Wrong series, I guess. Uh, okay, Punchy Poo, you keep on keeping on. Uh, planting's happening. Ah, alright. Well, we've had an area revealed, but it's not very exciting, I'm afraid. It really is just this here, which is good, and because it does mean that we don't have to mine that out later on. I am making Punchy Poo punch her way all the way through to um, here. And that will be all good because it means we can access all these trees and things like that. But also, this is going to be, I guess, going to be room for our production-y type stuff. Got lots of compacted steel here, which which will be good to mine out, so I might as well be doing that or for at some point. Ah, Punchy Poo is slowly making the room rectangular, which is how it should be for some reason. 
Oh, this is never going to get built, though. This is all the bloody bedroom stuff. Yeah. God damn it. When you've only got one person doing mining. Oh, I'm great has joined in with the mining. All, oh, all the plants here. All the planting has happened already. Well done, lads. Um, so a good range of skills at the moment we've got. Um, everyone can haul and clean, which is rare. Everyone can do research if necessary, but most people are piss at it. Only Punchy Poo is good at research. Um, elsewhere, there are two cooks. Um, both of which are 6 out of 20, which is okay. Um, cooking does, as I say, bad cooks make food poisonous food, which is not... I What's that? Hang on. Animals don't attack doors. Uh, right. Well, that's fine. I should really turn that off, but <laughs> never mind. And everyone's a kip, pretty much. Oh, that's that's now in do that's now. Oh God, hang on. That needs a door, doesn't it? Put a door there, and eventually that will then be indoors, I guess. Once more, morning has arrived. People are getting going. There's a solar flare. That's just literally just happened now. Fuck. All electrical devices are fucked. Which is fine, because there aren't any. And so that's not a problem at all. And so Randy Random already being a bit weird. Alright. So I suppose for now we do need a table. Just We'll do a little table, just so people can eat without having to eat off eat off their bloody knees. Which will be annoying for them. So if we put the table kind of... Oh, we'll put it kind of... Yeah, we'll put it here. <laughs> Getting in the way of absolutely everything, but never mind. Um, That's a, a torch supposed to be there. Uh, Wide Awake has got food poisoning from berries. Well, tough titty. Thankfully, food poisoning isn't too bad. Apparently, it just reduces your um, s stats for about by about 50% for a short while. So, not a huge deal. So, so we're mining out lots of good steel, which is going to be handy for what we need to do. Building floor, which is nice. I've set everyone to be a miner, by the way. Overnight, I've decided, let's just try and get all the mining done if we can. So, there's going to be a lot of people... Who aren't any good at mining, doing mining, but never mind. I'm going to, I'm going to, I've also um, set up this. This is going to be probably going to be the pantry. Um, this is going to be the freezer, the cooler. Call it what you will. This is where all the food's going to be. Wide Awake is chucking up. Stop it, Wide Awake. Put vomit on the on that horrible bit of stone floor. Oh, it's, the solar flare is ending. That was a very short solar flare. I think we're just a bit embarrassed by how pointless it was. Minor break risk. Punchy Poo is getting a bit... Hmm, let's see why. Why are you so pissy? Oh my god. Hideous environment, in pain, disturbed sleep, shared bedroom, slept on... Yeah. As soon as we get bed sorted, that's going to be fine. And you also lack a bionic body part, which is pissing you off apparently. Ate without table, you were sorting that out. Slept outside... Yeah, well, just wait and everything will be fine. So, so long as he doesn't break anytime soon, then we should be fine. Okay, so let's speed things up a little again, and hopefully... Oh, po po what's that? What's that? Area revealed. What? Oh, okay. <laughs> Fine. So literally, there was, that, that was already a space, so I don't need to mine that out, which is rather handy. At the moment, this is only going to have a door on that side. We we'll probably need a door on the other side as well, so I'll need to mine out a little extra. Can I just... Um, might as well just do, that, do it like this. The table is not going to be here forever, by the way. I mean, that's that's just stupid, isn't it? Uh, yeah, everything's getting a bit cramped here. I think I am going to move the stockpile further into the mountain at some point, but first of all, I have to mine a lot of it out. On the upside, that's getting mined out quite quickly. This is getting mined out quite quickly. I'm great as building a chair instead of mining. I think construction does actually take precedence over mining. Oh god, I'm great as piss at building. It's taking forever. I'm great. Construct. Oh, 8 out of 20, that's okay. Uh, I think it's just on a slow setting. <laughs> okay, let's speed things up um, and see what's going to happen. I really want to get this all mined out so they can actually go to sleep in comfort, relative comfort, instead of moaning and whining that they're sleeping on the floor. I ask you, get some balls. Oh, I'm great is now finishing off that bit. That's good because this is going to be now indoors. There's the roof. There we go. Although you could wait until it's actually fully mined out. Thanks. Oh, Amazon's doing the mining there. That's good. That means we can quickly put in the door that we need. Yes. In, into the vomit pantry, as it now is. Cargo pods. Where is that? Ooh. 
Hops! Oh, we can do some brewing without having to do any boring old planting. Let's D for bid. Uh, steel slag. Sod that. There's low food, but never mind. That appears to be it. We are... Where the hell are we? Oh, there we are. Oh, gold. That's going to be tricky to actually get to, isn't it? We have to, go, we have to wade through the swamp. Uh, well, no one's going to do that anytime soon, though, are they? Because we're still busy with the mining. So loads of good steel there. That's going to be handy. And fuel stove. We don't have any wood for the fuel stove. But at least we can actually start doing that. Quickly add the bill. So we'll always have 20 meals. And when we actually do start setting off our caravans and stuff, I'll have to up that number. But for now, 20 is good. We probably won't get anywhere near 20 for the time being. Someone's a chef. Um, took, a couple, we've got a couple of chefs, haven't we? Um, let's have a look. Cook. Yeah, there we go. Punchy Poo and Brewface. Neither of which are brilliant at it, but should do the trick. And that should actually take precedence over mining. Um, but so, so as soon as we get some wood in the... F oh, God, it's night time again. And we haven't... We haven't nearly finished this mining stuff. God damn it. Well, you're going to have to get pissy again by sleeping on the floor. But never mind. Amazon and I'm great, of course. That Hello, what's this? What's that doing there? What happened there? Huh. Oh, hello, what's this? An art student named Freya Tail Fairwing calls you from nearby. She's being chased by tribespeople. She begs for safety. She's 34. If you accept, you'll have to fight off the tribespeople on her tail. It's a bit early to be start fighting. Um, offer safety. Pause. Right, so that's where, that's where Tail's coming in from. Have to give her a different name at some point. Oh, is it? It is actually another woman as well. Uh, we could do, do with a bit more of an even split. Um, okay, so where are these matey boys then? Because I will need to actually give the people who don't have weapons, weapons. In fact, we'll have to work that out, won't we? Let's see. Let's see. Who's going to be good for having these speary type things, these melee weapons? So, Brewface? Nothing. Cannot fight. Amazon's already got a shooty thing. Uh, melee. Punchy Poo? Melee. Right, do you actually have anything? You've got beer. How come you've got beer? Where did you get beer from? God damn it. Punchy Poo. You old devil. Alright, right. What do we need to do? Oh yeah, we need to get a quick wooden spear. Oh, she's not happy. With the red Z. Alright, never mind. Or tough titty, as I think it's sometimes known. Um, wide awake, you can probably do some melee as well. So where's wide awake? She's fast asleep. In ironic scenes. Uh, okay, you can have that. And right. Look at them. Getting really grumpy. Right, so you're going to be armed. Right, so what's her name is running up the mountain, or whatever she's doing. Where's the baddies then? Maybe they don't spawn until she's actually ar arrived at the tribe. Presumably they'll um, come onto the map at the same point. Or maybe I'll just get lucky and they won't actually... Oh. <laughs> uh. Well, it's only one bloke. We can fight that off. As I say, it's a fairly easy difficulty level, even even if we have got Randy Random on the case. Right, so let's just fight this off, and then we'll stop for this episode. So come on, Tail. Actually, let's let's have a look at what you are. Apparently, you're someone who cuts raspberry bushes in the middle of the night while being chased by an evil prick. Oh, I have to give you a new name. So you're artistic. Oh, all right. But you are actually decent at shooting. Um, we don't have any... Oh, you do, actually. Um, okay. So, come indoors. Grab yourself a weapon. And maybe you can be the one who fights off Cobra. Who's actually already turned... How the hell did you get here so fast? Quick, get in. Okay, so Cobra is busy um, destroying a really shit wall. Uh-oh! No! 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 Maybe the dog will just be able to finish, it, finish him off. It's about even at the moment. Um, Two-thirds, half health. Come on, come on. I have to draft you. Come on. Right, get stuck in. There we go. Oh, perfect. Done already. Right, so that's the raid over. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I can capture. If I wanted, I could capture and also make a new bed. 
um, and com possibly convert them. But I'm not going to do that way too early in the game to start worrying about that. And I haven't even built proper beds for my own guys yet. So I'm afraid I'm just going to have to let him bleed out, I think. Poor dead cobra. You're not the king of me. Oh, right, so hopefully... Um, Taylor didn't even get injured. The dog did, but that's just a dog. So, ha! Or wolf or whatever the hell it is. Right, so Taylor's the artistic one. So... What shall we... Okay, artist. Um, dab. <laughs> Dabaroo. No, that's, that's too similar to Punchy Pit. Oh, who cares? They can rhyme. There we go. Dabaroo the painter. Good. Uh, oh, God. Now I have to build yet another bedroom. Oh, will this ever end? Um, well, probably in about 10 episodes time. Okay, so thanks for watching. We'll pick this up again in the next episode, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.